Hello, welcome to the user experience video for PCS Director Embedded. Today we will be exploring user facing features and navigation including the copy scan and fax tracking functionality as well as the secure release functionality. Let's get started. Authentication to the PCS Director Embedded system is configurable and can be set to no authentication if desired. There are two kinds of authentication that can be set when using the copy scan and fax tracking component of PCS Director Embedded, including PIN and Swipe. Both methods reference the PIN attributes stored in the user list of the PCS Director Administrator. When using PIN authentication, the user is prompted to provide their unique PIN code value. After entering a PIN code and clicking the OK button, the user can be presented with additional prompts using the recovery functionality of PCS Director. A custom field I have created in the administrator is shown on screen. Once a user has made the appropriate selections for the required information, the copier is unlocked for use by the user. Multiple custom fields can be applied to the embedded system if required. Any use of the functions configured to be locked by the PCS Director Embedded software will be tracked during the user's session. After completing the job or jobs on the device, it is recommended that the user logs out, although the device's timeout functionality will eventually log out the user and return the device to the PCS Director Embedded home screen. PCS Director Embedded can also be configured to accept swipe card information to authenticate. When set to swipe for the authentication type, the following screen is displayed. After applying the card to the card reader, the embedded software will check the PIN attributes stored in the user list of the PCS Director Administrator for a matching user account. If a match is found, the user will be authenticated and any additional required information will be requested from the user. PCS Director Embedded allows an administrator to apply a restriction to a user or group of users. Today I have created a restriction for my user account to be disallowed from making color copies. When I engage the copy function, color is not a selectable option for my job, so I must perform the operation in black and white. Another popular feature of PCS Director Embedded is allowances, which function as a declining balance for users. Each operation that they perform will deduct from the configured balance. My remaining balance following the previous copy operation is now zero. I will attempt to access the copier using my swipe card. Since my balance is at zero, I am not able to utilize the locked functions of the copier until the administrator provides additional balance for my account. The other component of PCS Director Embedded is Secure Release. This allows users to authenticate at the device and select print jobs for release. For the secure related functionality, there are three types of authentication, including PIN, Swipe, and Password. Once a user is authenticated, they are provided with a listing of secure jobs for release. PIN authentication functions very similarly to the copy scan and fax tracking component. A user is presented with a screen to input the PIN and the user is authenticated before being presented with a listing of their specific secure jobs. Users cannot see the secure jobs of other users when they are authenticated. The release process is as simple as selecting the job or jobs to release and pressing either the print or print all button. When finished, be sure to log out. Occasionally, a user may forget their PIN code, in which case the Forgot PIN Code button will allow a user to authenticate with their username and password. The PIN code will then be displayed on the screen before allowing the user to continue with the secure release. Swipe card authentication is another method for identifying the user at the device. Registering swipe cards can be done in one of two ways. The organization can enter swipe card information into Active Directory, 
or they can use the device to register the swipe card information as users access the device. The way the auto registration works is that the system checks the swipe card value against the environment. If it is not found during authentication, the user is prompted for their username and password. Upon successful authentication, the swipe card value is stored for future use. A swipe card value must be unique in the environment. In addition to releasing jobs, the user is also able to cancel jobs. This is done by selecting the job from the list and pressing the delete button. Don't forget to log out. Password authentication allows users to log in with their username and password. Once authenticated, they are presented with the same actions as discussed in the previous PIN and Swipe authentication sections. This means that the job in question is not compatible with the device and cannot be released. When finished, be sure to log out.